With the drought persisting, officials on Thursday thrashed out a crisis plan they hope will prevent disruptions to tech manufacturing at the Shinzu Science Park. Company representatives and government officials agreed on an action plan with five strategies, which does include activating more wells to supply groundwater. With the drought getting dire, Xinju Science Park is sending distress signals. Xinju Mayor Lin Zhijian, Water Resources Agency officials and Xinju Science Park company representatives sat to discuss solutions on Thursday. The pipeline connecting Taoyuan and Xinju brings water from north to south. It supplies 200,000 tons to the greater Xinju area every day. At this juncture, it's proving to be a vital piece of infrastructure. If reserves are abundant at Ximen Reservoir, we'd of course like for an increase in the amount of water supplied to us. The desalination plants that were completed in 66 days are already up and running. Central and local governments hope to ease the water shortage through five strategies. Transferring water from north to south, seeding clouds, desalinating seawater, recycling water and activating drought wells. The greater Shinju area is already pulling water from 17 drought wells to obtain 320,000 tons of water every day. Work is underway to incorporate more wells into the supply system. Xinzhu is already using 17 drought water wells. The city government is planning to add another 12 water wells into the network to alleviate the drought. The Xinzhu city government has also lifted restrictions on the industrial use of underground water resources. A moratorium will be in effect until the end of June so that firms can tap underground reserves. To reduce water demand, Xinzhu Science Park is also working to enhance water recycling. The park now reuses up to 80% of the water it consumes. Meanwhile, the Water Resources Agency is tackling the issue of leaks in the piping system. There have been improvements to address pipe leakage in the different jurisdictions of the Taiwan Water Corporation. Water loss has been brought down from 20 percent to today's 13.5 percent. The Taiwan Water Corporation is working on speeding up the engineering works and also making better pipes, using leak tests to monitor pipes in a scientific way. While the government looks for more water, companies are trying to conserve to get through the dry spell without disrupting production.